Hello, my name is uh, Dr. Greg Freund. I teach MCB 493, Basic Human Pathology. When is your course typically offered? Fall, fall spring, or summer? The course is typically offered in the spring. Can you give me a brief overview of what is covered in your course? What are the learning goals? We cover in the course the basic elements of how diseases sort of manifest in humans, from the morphology all the way to the sort of clinical outcomes. It is uh, similar in tone to what you might experience in medical school, in a medical school-based pathology curriculum. However, it's not as, it's not as extensive. We sort of focus on the uh, early aspects of that type of uh, educational experience. Our objectives are to give the student a learning uh, experience as well as a content experience that would prepare them especially for uh, a medical student, a medical school uh, curriculum. However, we it also is very applicable to students that are interested in veterinary medicine, nursing, uh, any of the ancillary healths such as PA, nurse practitioner, et cetera. We've had a variety of those types of students within this course who have felt that they've benefited from that learning experience, getting a feel for how it is, to, you know, practice how you play, how it, what you're going to experience at the, at, at sort of the next level. Um, what is the format of your course? Are there discussion sections? Is it taught via lecture or in seminar format? And are eye cookers used? The way we teach this course is kind of innovative. What we have is we have we have a lecture, and then on, on one day of the week, on the second day of the week, we have uh, case presentations, and those case presentations are done by the students themselves. They get to pick out the cases. We try to use uh, the New England Journal of Medicine case reports, and then uh, I, as the professor, do not know what the case is about, and. I then sit in the classroom with the students, and there the presentation is made, and then we have a a, a house-like guessing contest. The house being the TV show, where we are blinded to the case and try to come up with the diagnosis ourselves. Only the students who present the case know. Okay. Um, how are students in your course graded? Exams, quizzes, homework. Students are graded predominantly on three exams, which are spaced equally throughout the year and are non-cumulative. They deal with each section. And then it's about 900 points, and then the last uh, 100 points are shown up to the case report sessions. Um, historically, which portion of the grade breakdown do students struggle most with? Uh, I think. I think people have done really well. I mean, our, our metrics are, are a little bit uh, silly. I mean, we had, I think we had a quarter of the class last year, a third to a quarter of the class get an A or an A plus. We're trying to, we're trying to not make this a, a, uh, a, a backbreaker. It's really to sort of uh, get that experience. Many of the students have already, some of them are already into medical school or professional schools or grad school. We have, uh, uh, and they want to see what learning is like at, 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 at the next, uh, again, the next level. And we're not really designing this to be any type of difficult chore as long as you basically read the book. Um, are there points associated with attendance? Yes, that would be the case report. Uh, that would be the case report uh, sessions. However, at, attendance. For the course, isn't mandatory, and I believe you can still get an A by not ever showing up. Are there any required textbooks for this course? This is our required textbook, and uh, it was uh, oops, better not cover up the lettering, right? It was used uh, last year, and we anticipate the ninth edition to be used again for uh, spring of 2015. Um, do you provide students with PowerPoint slides or lecture outlines before class? Uh, we provide them with the entire PowerPoint uh, lecture, and 
As I say, though, if you've read it in the book, which we provide all the readings, uh, my lecture is, can be considered almost unnecessary. I hate to say it, but that's how medical schools taught. What we want to do is provide you with informational content, and it's just you know you use your uh, your preferred learning style to uh, consolidate learn and consolidate materials. Okay. Are there any prerequisites for the course? We recommend the core courses. However, for students who are motivated, uh, that may not be necessary for them. And always happy to discuss with an individual how this course fits into their learning plan. Um, how do topics covered in your course apply to current research, medical, scientific advancements? We're teaching the basic concepts that disease is predicated upon. Therefore, this is the background knowledge you will, that any uh, physician would, would utilize. And therefore, individuals that are especially interested in research gain benefit by understanding uh, the current sort of state-of-the-art knowledge of a variety of disease, basic building blocks of disease formation. Um, what opportunities do you provide outside of class for students to ask questions or get assistance? We have office hours, but what uh, works best in the past is students make a direct appointments with uh, myself through my, through my administrator, and then we set up a time convenient for both of us to discuss uh, topics of interest. Okay. Is there anything else that you'd like to tell us about your course? This course is one of the uh, unique offerings. There's not many like this in, in the country, and it's been well received. It's kind of fun and exciting where we can try to have a good time and learn about, learn about things that are very pertinent to what's happening often in the news, especially disease progression or interesting, try to frame it in, a, in, a, in, a, in a, as relevant to current happenings. So I'm sure we'll be talking about Ebola 